good morning student in today lecture uh, we will discuss how can we generate the symbol of an schematic and the uh, display the different component on the schematic window so see so in last lecture we have discussed about the inverter analysis so just we are copying that circuit from there so inverter underscore analysis open this window okay so just copy the circuit and move this circuit into the our in inverter underscore symbol window so just close this window no need of this window so see so that is the so to just create the symbol p does not require any power supply so just delete all the power supply and the wire connection extra wire connection okay that is the wire connection just delete the so this is my circuitry okay now we check and save just check okay four warning because four wire point are terminal are open okay now just connect to the pin so select pin because we have the three is the input pin p in second is pdd and the ground so the name is b in pdd and ground input type okay so first pin is b in if you want to rotate so just use the r press the r key that is pdd and this is the ground one pin is remaining so this is my output type so description is output and pin name is p out okay hi so that is my output pin so this is the total symbols save check and save okay now how we can run because this is the uh, uh, with the pin so how we use as the schematic so just launch ADEL okay set go to the setup is to my so here you find the pin name ground so just give one by one so ground enable the pin okay ground first enable supply type DC zero voltage apply okay Second is setup is to lie just second is BDD enable so input type is DC so we are taking the input for BDD voltage 1.5 apply third is B in enable this pin okay pulsating type so suppose we are assuming the magnitude DC voltage X and the voltage one magnitude is 1.5 volt voltage two is zero period one pulse period is one millisecond okay period now suppose we are at the present uh, no not taking the delay time and rise time pulse width is suppose 0.5 milli okay So okay, DC voltage X, voltage 1.5, voltage to zero, period one millivolt. Okay, and pulse width 0.5, apply. Okay, so these all pin are active on on ground BDD. Okay, okay, so this is my supply voltage. So because we have taken one variable X, so just X by default value suppose 0.6 volt apply okay so that is the variable value so first transient analysis we have taken one pulse of one millisecond so for we are selecting here five pulse of 0 0.005 five pulse conservative type apply okay now dc analysis same dc operating point Design variable is x. 
so we are selecting the value of x and varying support this voltage from 0 to 1.5 apply okay so we have taken both the supply of transient and dc output to be plotted select on schematic so we are drawing the waveform b input waveform and b output waveform so see so one by one of run simultaneously okay so just run the simulation so see here okay this is my transient analysis axis strip so that is my input voltage okay so that is b out and this is the input voltage volt okay so input voltage is 0 to 1.5 output is just replica of input voltage okay we have taken 5 millisecond so total 5 bit is here so this is tangent analysis and this is just split the axis also of this axis strip so see that is fine bold okay because that is input voltage input voltage is equal to the x voltage same voltage so it is the same replica of the x voltage and that is varying from 0 to 1.5 and this is the output waveform because when the until the input voltage less than the thermal voltage and most transistor is in cutoff mode and the PMOS is in saturation so output voltage connect to BTD so output value is BTD after when the transistor enter into the saturation uh, transistor and most transistor enter into the saturation of BGS is greater than BD output is connected to ground so output value is zero okay so that is transient analysis and dc analysis okay so now suppose we want to see the different node voltage how can we check so result go to the print dc node voltage so press anywhere so when you press here so voltage of this node is 1.5 volt Suppose we want to check the node voltage 1.4425 volt voltage of this node is 0.6 volt so you can ground so this voltage is 0 so using this ADL and result direct print so DC voltage you can find the voltage of every node suppose we are interested in DC operating point okay so suppose that is pmos transistor so here all the parameter of nmos transistor pmos transistor is given so this is bth bgs different voltage region region is representing in which transistor is working so always remember zero region means in cutoff one is means active two means in saturation and three means cutoff okay so that is the reason different capacitance voltage so you can see all the operating value of different this is for n nm0 and this is pm0 and this is for the transistor okay so you can see suppose we are clicking on this so this is for the nmos transistor okay so here we are seeing the different variables suppose we want to see region here or any voltage or current to display here so how can we uh, see that so just go to the edit window component display so just go to the parameter okay operating point and type a cell type so select the transistor so here you find the model okay model is nmos so suppose we want to display the region so just select the region okay 
so here you are getting the region of the operating point name parameter cell so this is representing different value id is here bgs is here pds suppose we were to display the region so select the region of the transistor so this is the region okay so my transistor is working in which region see here okay so using this we can change the parameter okay so this is the display of these parameters so where is my region in which it is working so just wait for unnet edit component display okay operating point cell parameter select the transistor we are selecting suppose this transistor w l okay this is w so suppose we want to select the region model transistor value model same some problem instance operating point first okay this is cell type so here you get all the value suppose we want to display the region so just click here the region this is my region okay that is the region so transistor this transistor is working in region one suppose we want to display the this component so see here this is working in region 2 so you can see or set your parameter value display value add it okay go to the component display operating point parameter cell and just click on this and this is there is nothing is set so first first we are showing this operating point parameter cell then for this transistor so select here any value cvb or region gm over ids suppose you want to display for region you can select any value which you want to display clear so that is my region so here is my region 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 so this is the region and that is okay so through this you can find the value so display so you can display which value are important for you so suppose now we want to create the symbol of this okay so just close the adl window yes okay just close the window this window so now for creating the symbol view okay create cell view from the cell view okay okay so just change the name of the pin top pin is bdd bottom pin is ground left pin is my b in pin okay right is be out everything is okay okay yes so this is the symbol no need of uh, outer layer so just delete them you can delete them okay if you want to keep some name so you can add direct text okay here so now your name is inverter so you can give the name okay if you want to give the shape so just go to the create save line so just select the line so that is my line So no significance of this is only the viewpoint. Okay. 
so suppose sk btd just take it select the btd and see here btd this is b out okay no problem so that is my circuit okay just create some more shapes line so just connect this also here okay so create shapes line here okay so that is my symbol of the inverter okay so we can use this symbol anywhere as the we can use all other symbols so save this so that is the symbol so in this lecture we learn how can we uh, generate uh, suppose we also require the circuits create so you can go from here create shapes circles okay so that is my total symbol of the inverter okay so in this lecture we learn how can we create the symbol of an schematic and uh, schematic of the, the symbol of the schematic and the display of different parameter on the schematic in next lecture we will discuss about the use of the calculator that is very important for the simulation thank you